Hey, how's it going? Uh, today is Monday. It is sort of overall uh, reflecting on the week. Uh, it was a great week. We just finished week 107. We're moving to week 108. And uh, it's not that busy. I haven't arranged that many meetings. Most of the meetings that I have arranged not, that doesn't really lead any, to anything. It's more than anything, it's just not networking. And uh, myself, I'm not necessarily speaking with the right people who can make the decisions with the businesses who I'm talking to. They say they can, but uh, that's very unlikely. <laughs> so it's uh, more or less I'm uh, speaking to someone from administration staff who needs to speak with someone, who needs to speak with someone, who needs to speak with someone. That that won't gonna lead anywhere. anywhere. Uh, uh, this week, I'm uh, planning on working on the exposure and perhaps how I can achieve more exposure. Uh, this is some of the areas that I'm gonna be working on, as well as uh, a couple other things that I would like to accomplish today. Other than that, uh, I will finish week with uh, looking for finance. Hey, how's it going? How are you doing today? Today I want to talk about licensing and intellectual property. If we were to begin with definition, the licensing and intellectual property, IP, business model involves uh, granting permissions to another parties to use, sell, or distribute intellectual property, such as patents, trademarks, copyrights, or trade secrets owned by one entity, the licensor, in exchange for a fee, royalties, or other forms of compensation. This model allows the licensor to generate revenue from IP, while the licensee gains access to valuable assets without the need to create them from scratch. Uh, some of the history examples. The concept of licensing intellectual property has a long history, but it became more prominent in the modern business world during 20th century. Uh, a brief overview. Early trademarks and patents, uh, the use of trademarks and patents dates back to centuries, with uh, artisans and innovators seeking official recognition and protection for their creation. These early forms of intellectual property provided the foundation of the modern licensing practices. Uh, entertainment industry in the early 20th century the entertainment industry particularly Hollywood play a significant role in popularization <laughs> popularizing licensing film studio licenses their movies for distribution in the different territories generating revenue from intellectual markets and in, in international markets Merchandising and brand licensing. Licensing uh, gained prominence in the mid uh, 20th century with the rise of merchandising. Companies began licensing their brand names, logos, and characters for use on various products. From toys to apparel, uh, notable examples include. Uh, some of the large companies for kids, <laughs> what I won't be mentioning, of characters like uh, toys, I guess, and perhaps uh, certain lords, and perhaps that might be interesting for kids, as well as uh, uh, boxes that we get <laughs> in the mornings, I guess. Yeah, just, just uh, some of the licensing examples there. Uh, software licensing. The software industry adopted licensing and, uh, uh, <laughs> as a standard practice. Software companies grant license to, to users for the right to use their software while retaining ownership of the code. This model allows companies to protect their intellectual property and generate ongoing revenue throughout updates and support. 
Uh, let's take a look at some of the licensing and intellectual property business models. Uh, franchising. Franchising is a form of licensing where a franchisor grants uh, franchisees the right to operate business under a franchisor's brand using its business model, trademarks, and support in exchange for a fee and royalties. Brand licensing. A large uh, companies that most of the people know about from Germany. Uh, their brand names, logos, and characters. To, uh, others for use of various products from clothing to collectibles. The, m most of the, the, those brands are apparel brands. Uh, either way, technology licensing. Technology companies often license their patents and software to other businesses. For example, large tech companies op op uh, do have operation systems, the computer, the licensing, uh, those operational systems, software to hardware manufacturers. Entertainment licensing, film studios license and distributions of their movies to theaters, streaming platforms and international markets. Uh, music uh, labels license the use of songs in films, commercials and video games, not necessarily limited to that, but that would be just some of the examples. Uh, character licensing, companies, uh, top companies, uh, <laughs> some of those I mentioned already, uh, use the iconic characters, uh, especially kids that they grew up watching in mer merchandises, theme parks, and or media. For example, uh, <laughs> let's not promote any of those. A uh, pair on clothing, toys, and even fruit snacks throughout licensing agreements. There might be a lot of opportunities up there for manufacturers who uh, might be interested have the core business and or might be interested in uh, diversifying. So if you were to produce in cups, perhaps, uh, that, uh, any type of cups, right, and you, you like to attach anything on the cup, you might be interested in reaching out to some of those uh, uh, movie studios and perhaps you might be able to acquire uh, different contracts to do that. I would highly recommend to do that. The only problem is that you would need to get in front of the right people that might be a lengthy process, especially if you never reached out to them before. You need to know how to talk with them, what they might, interested, they might be interested in, so it's some of the problems that I have. But it's impossible. That's why I'm discussing overall. It's impossible to do that. And I would definitely advise to do it properly. Always try your best to do it properly. Do not take uh, <laughs> any shortcut. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't got in trouble yet, so we'll see with any of that. So hopefully, uh, things will stay that way. Patent licensing. Some companies specialize in acquiring patents and licensing them to other businesses. These patent uh, assertion entities, uh, sometimes called patent trolls, Okay, see classing fees or, or settlement based on alleged patent infringement. Oh, okay, uh, so it is based on if uh, I guess uh, if it's true what they're saying or if uh, there actually was infringement. Uh, since a lot of the, the, what they're actually discussing, there might be people who are abusing the system. Or for what is actually a patent infringement and what's not, it might be considered a gray area. The licensing and intellectual property model can be highly profitable for intellectual property owners, as it allows them to monetize their assets without the need to manufacture or distribute products themselves. For licenses, it provides access to valuable intellectual property, reducing uh, the time and cost of delivering them uh, own technologies or brand and taking up a large percentage of the risk. Poten potentially <laughs> reducing the uh, risk to the minimum. I have the publisher journal. Name of the journal is Inkflow. In this journal, I'm sharing a lot of information for those of you who would like to better yourself in the terms of managing your day uh, in the best way possible, structuring your day around time and how to make most of your time. 
some of the areas are I'm highlighting and I would definitely recommend for everyone taking a look at uh, how to start your day perhaps if uh, you would need uh, motivation as well as a uh, dictionary always expand your dictionary if you can most of the people stuck with a uh, day-to-day -day basis 500 words so if you were to, uh, to be interested in perhaps expanding that as well as understanding finance side of things uh, free of things to do as well as rating your own performance uh, be your own judge I guess uh, just some of those areas that I would highly recommend you can find this journal in the description below as well as top retailers Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next one.